So Netflix announcing a new option that's going to cost a little bit more, uh, but it's add a home. This is in response, I imagine, to what's pretty prevalent out there. Uh, do you share your streaming password with uh, friends and family? 217-629-7970. That's the phone number here with Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY Springfield's News and Talk. You can also email bishoponair at gmail.com or find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Just search Bishop on Air. Uh, but do you share your streaming service passwords with family and friends? Uh, just thinking right now, uh, uh, we have uh, Netflix, we've got Hulu, um, we've got... Uh, uh, YouTube, uh, we just recently did that um, family plan there. Spotify, um, and we do share. I share my Spotify account with with Megan. Uh, I've offered it to others, but they're like, "Oh, we're doing Google Music and whatnot." Um, but when it comes to other streaming services, we actually have a friend that allowed us to log into uh, his his Paramount Plus account uh, so that we could watch South Park and whatnot. Uh, and apparently, I mean, he's got different uh, slots for, you know, his name, uh, his girlfriend's name, and then my name. And there's a fourth slot there whenever you uh, click on the, uh, the the app. Uh, so this is pretty prevalent uh, and something I think a lot of people are doing. You're sharing your streaming content because it allows for it to a degree, right? I mean, the Spotify, I could either do it myself and it's cheaper or I could do the family plan and I think I can share it with up to like five people. Same thing with like YouTube. Uh, you, you you get the plan and then you can have the the family plan for a little bit more and you can share that with others. Uh, and uh, we, we did reciprocate. And uh, since we're using uh, our buddy's Paramount Plus account, uh, we're reciprocating and uh, letting him use the, uh, uh, the YouTube premium account, which is actually, you know what, you're able to turn your phone off and you could just listen to YouTube videos instead of uh, having the phone screen on. It's, you can even download some of the videos, which is kind of neat, but... Do you share your streaming passwords with your friends or family? Uh, or are you uh, safeguarding that? You're holding that close to the vest. Uh, maybe to see if they could uh, do you a favor instead. Uh, but Netflix announcing that uh, they will be testing a new at at a home feature and it's going to cost a little bit more. Uh, but in various regions, uh, like for instance, they're going to be uh, testing this out in Argentina. Um, it's going to be 219 pesos. Whatever that is, uh, but about two ninety nine in other test regions. So it's going to cost an extra three dollars a month. That's not going to break the bank. Uh, but you know, when we talk about streaming services a lot, uh, and again, you can chime in at two one seven six two nine seven nine seventy. Sorry, I just, I just, I just got a, just got a message from my buddy, uh, dude. You're going to get us busted. No, come on. <laughs> It's so prevalent. Everybody, everybody, everybody's doing it. I mean, it, just because your friends are handing out their streaming passwords doesn't mean you have to. Uh, listen, I mean, I think that that's the way the the way of the world, um, and in particular, like you know, the the Spotify family plan and the YouTube family plan and the and 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 even like cell phone family plans. Remember, uh, all of those were being shared and whatnot with uh, not not families, but with friends. Uh, and I think the companies recognize that. And that's why I think you're also seeing a move to recognize that with this idea of uh, allowing for at least Netflix to have an add a home feature. Because I think Netflix was starting to feel a bit of the um, a bit of the uh, effects of this, right? Because people were sharing their Netflix passwords with others across the country. Like, you know, hey, I've got a friend over in LA. I'm gonna share my Netflix password with him so he can stream stuff. And that's eating into uh, Netflix overall subscription count. So maybe this is a way for people to still kind of add to that subscription count and also for Netflix to make a little bit more money uh, and uh, hopefully uh, make up for <clears throat> having to uh, spend an exorbitant amount on a whole host of just bad content. I mean, if anybody's watched the recent South Park series on Paramount Plus, they did a they did a, a two episode series about the streaming wars. It's fantastic. If you haven't watched it, you've got to watch it. But really, they get to the crux of 
there's way too much garbage content out there because the streaming services are going all in on trying to get as much diverse content as they can. And then what do you get? You get a whole bunch of watered down stuff. So what are you going to do? Uh, so are you sharing your streaming service passwords with friends and family? 217-629-7970. Good morning. You're on WMAY. Uh, yes, I share all, all my uh, streaming services. But what I can't stand is the password expires, and then someone resets the password and doesn't share it. So you get locked out of it? I, I've not had that happen yet. On uh, on I have DirecTV streaming service, and every it's like three months or so often they will ask me to reset my password, and my daughter will do it, and then I'll try to log in, and it won't let me, and I have to ask her what the password is. Is your daughter living in the house with you, or is she off somewhere else and you you're get, you guys are sharing the service? Yeah, she she's off to college, and she, she, uh, she we just share the service. So she's blocked you out. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, and I've got to go down. I've got to go down to AT and T because I've got my uh, my Direct TV is is same company. So I've got to go down and get my my passwords reset and help me figure mm. them out because it's a mess. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Uh, we haven't ran into that problem yet, uh, but I, I appreciate you giving me a heads up that that's a possibility. Uh, I don't think uh, Netflix has ever asked us to change our password after a certain amount of time. I don't think even Spotify has done that. Uh, but are you sharing your passwords uh, for your streaming services to uh, friends and family? Uh, 217-629-7970. That's the phone number here. With Springfield's Morning News, so Netflix, what they're doing with this add-a-home feature right now, uh, they say that they're testing this to expand it in uh, Chile, Costa Rica, Peru earlier this year uh, to add an extra member. Part of the test, subscribers are asked to pay an extra if they're sharing the service with people outside of their household. Uh, The feature allows households to add up to two sub-accounts for a fee. That's uh, less than the cost of the full-price Netflix service. So, you know, again, it's a way for them to to add the number of subscribers, but also to make a little bit of extra money uh, off of what people are already doing. And that's sharing those those uh, social uh, those streaming service passwords. All right. It is Springfield's morning news. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY Springfield.